want to know how to clip your Ted, your Ted's face, <laughs> your dog's face, well I'm going to show you that on this video. Hi guys, it's Chloe and Ted here from Everything Dogs with Chloe and on this channel I help you keep your hairy hound happy and healthy. So if you're new here, please think about subscribing because we post videos on dog care, dog training and anything to do with your dog. Also, don't forget to check out the links below where I list the great clippers that I used in this video. Let's get into the video. So I have brushed Ted so that I can get to his fur quite easily. Now with Bedlingtons, but it doesn't matter which dog you've got really, you just, with clipping the face, for Bedlingtons we clip all of this part and underneath as well. But with any dog, what you are going to want to make sure is that the flat part of the blade is against their skin. So you're not pointing in and you're not pointing out. Don't be scared to put it against their skin, it's so much better. So I'm going to lift up his ears so I have a bit more access to this side of his face. I put the ear on top of his head and put my index finger on it and then wrap my hand around his face so I can hold his nose properly. So I'm going to switch the blades on. These are really quiet blades so they're really good and just start to clip against his fur. And then you clip all the way down to the edge of their mouth here. So you're clipping in a diagonal really. I like to clip Ted as just a, a pet dog, so he doesn't get the full uh, Bedlington clip. So I'm just going to clip up a bit. So then when you're doing around their mouth, you want to be really careful because if you lift up their mouth, their part of their skin round here does not lie straight so you want to be very careful when you're clipping round their mouth so you don't hurt them then you want to clip underneath then any wispy bits just clip them away as well so I'm just going to clip underneath his chin a bit this isn't a full body clip because it is still winter here so I do want him to have some sort of coat so I'm only going to clip around his face so over here normally I would clip all of this but with the bigger clippers so you just want to be really careful here and just hold their neck up and just clip underneath and then that's nice and neat. So do the other side. I'm not going to show you today how I've clipped this part of his face because this at uh, this stage does not we don't use clippers with this we only use the scissors and that's extremely different. So that is that side of his face done. It's all nice and neat now. It's not as uh, crazy with the hair um, and I'll just neaten it up a bit in some areas. And that looks so much better to that side which is a bit more curly and a bit more crazy. So we're going to get on and do that now. So we've done both sides of his face now and the next part of a Bedlington is their top. Now this has got a little bit long on here, um, I have brushed it out so I can see exactly where it goes. Now the end of his head or if his skull is just about there so all of this needs to come off. Now because I'm not doing a body clip I need to make sure that it's at the same level as his, the rest of his body. So um, I'm just going to mark off with my finger and brush it back a bit.
I don't want to clip anything off his body so I just need to be really careful that I'm only clipping it off his head here and not the rest of his body. So the end of his skull is there. So I'm going to pull that forward and make sure now, now that I've taken the long bits away, that this falls in line with the rest of his body. And then that will look a little bit neater. The blade is still against his skin, but just not as strong as it would be if I was doing his full body. Ooh, a nice hitch. So that is the back now done, nice and neat, and you can see where his um, top ends, which, which is good, it's just there. So we're quite pleased with that. And we're just going to trim the ears just a little bit as well, and then the top. So with the top, you uh, bend it over halfway across, and you want to make sure it's in line with the edge of their face. So it is going to be quite short. So let's get on and do that now. So as I said, you bend it over halfway, and you cut a nice straight line just along. You can make the line very draft like at first and then you can neaten it up towards the end so you want to keep pressing it over just to make sure you have got that line straight my dog has lied down you want to make sure that all of the hair is over so you don't miss any wispy bits try to stay for me so if I can get him to face that way, sit down, sit down. Now what you'll see is that there is a straight line going down his head, which is where the hair should end, which is great. That's bang on perfect that. So I'm very pleased with that. That is very straight. So then you want to go the other side. See how that comes uh, uh, off his face quite a lot. So we want to chop some of that off now. So now you can see that is straight on that side as well and it is straight on that side as well. And then you just want to rough it up a bit so it doesn't look like he's got a massive Mohican. So now we're just going to trim the base of his ears a bit, make them look a little bit neater and we're just going to, um, normally we would trim on top very lightly just to make them slightly neater um, but I'm not sure I'm going to do that today because they don't need doing so we like to make a like a little slanted shape around Ted's ear so I'm going to just cut some off at the end not too much just a little bit and then I will shape them from there so that's quite a sharp cut so just to even it out a bit so that just makes it look a little bit neater not quite so scraggly at the end it doesn't need much trimming off but do remember if you ever do cut too much off at the end of the day it will always grow back its only hair so question of the day is are you brave enough to clip your dog's face <laughs> let me know in the comments down below <laughs> thank you so much for watching and if you are new here please think about subscribing and don't forget to check out all the links down below where i list those great clippers that i use to clip ted's face and as always on here on everything dogs with chloe we help you keep your hairy hound happy and healthy thanks for watching guys bye